Hey there folks, Ben here. I want to do a quick video explaining the problem of first link priority and showing you how to fix it. I think most SEO problems can be solved with more links and more content. Uh, and, and yes, you do need to get your on-page structure right. You want to get your title tag to include your keywords and to also try and bring people to click through from the search engines. Your description tag is really important again to induce that click. And you want to have the linking amongst the pages of your site um, linking based on the anchor text or linking using the words that you want target pages to rank for. That's important, but you know, it, it's probably been five years since I've attempted to count keyword density in, inside a page. So you know, some of those more obscure hacks and wording positions on pages within the body content and those sorts of things, I, I really don't get too, too fussed by that sort of stuff. I, I, I think if you focus on really good quality content and you, you, you lead with, um, you get lots of links and you have a volume of content, you'll do really well. But there is one hack that we've been applying for quite a number of years now, and uh, I do call it a hack because I don't see any logical reason why it is the way it is, but, but we've certainly seen some, some ranking benefits from applying it with sites that were relatively weak, we've been able to get some good rankings applying this strategy. So the hack, as I'm gonna call it, is first link priority. Now to give credit where credit is due, I didn't discover this. Uh, I, I very clearly learned it off uh, Leslie Rohde, who uh, is, I suppose in many ways, kind of the godfather of SEO. And uh, I, uh, I had the, the, the pleasure to speak at a seminar with him last weekend, and he again taught on this principle. And at the time I was a little disappointed because it was something I knew, and I was hoping to learn something, you know, learn a new trick, so to speak. But he then brought up some of the SEO gurus um, websites and showed that they were breaking this first link priority rule and I thought it was essentially common knowledge and so um, I thought this demands a video. So this video comes in two parts. The first part is I'm going to explain how you identify the problem and then the second part is I'm going to show you the technical solution and we've also got a, a page where you'll be able to just see the code if you want to copy a, a code template to solve the problem. There's actually quite a number of ways you can solve the problem but for the second part of it, I'll, I'll let you know when that's coming around. And you may decide just to turn off and send the, the link to this to your technical guys and then get them to implement the fix because you don't need to know so much how to fix it. You just need to know where it exists and that, that the fix is easy and, and get your tech guys to do that. So the problem is essentially this. Here you'll see that we've got two pages, page A and page B. And page A links to page B twice. And, and we see that the, the first link is a graphic and the second link is an, a, a text link with nice keyword rich anchor text. The problem we've got is that Google acknowledges the existence of the first link, but when it finds a second link linking to the same page, it ignores that link. And so the credit that would come from the anchor text having our, our specific keyword in it is lost. So it, the, the critical issue is that the first link in the page, that's what matters the most. Now let's look at a couple of examples on a, on a page that I found that's breaking this first link priority rule. Here we have a website uh, that sells mobile phones and uh, here in Australia, and they do very well. They're, they're, they're a very successful phone sales company. And uh, what they do, if we, if we install the, uh, the web developer plugin for Firefox, and uh, here you'll see a link for that on the screen. What happens is we have the ability to disable the CSS. And when we disable the CSS, and I'll do that, disable all the styles, we actually see the page in much the same way as Google does. Now, if you want to get the full effect of seeing it the way Google does, you can also disable your JavaScript. You can turn all your JavaScript on. And there is a, under miscellaneous, you can also linearize the page, which, which takes out the tables. And that is, probably the best visual representation of how Google sees your page. Now getting back to the first link priority issue, what we've got here is this graphic links back to the home page. We're on the, the, the page that sells Samsung phones. And the, the first link back to the home page is actually a graphic rather than being um, you know, a normal link. And so there's no keyword relevance being passed back to the home page. Now this site has something in the order of a thousand pages and every one of those pages could be sending a link back to the home page with relevant anchor text to pass 
to, to say to Google, hey, the homepage is relevant on these specific keywords, and, the, and that would enable the homepage to rank better on more competitive keyword phrases. But that's not happening. Let me give you an example or a, or a counter case where if we go to a, a signage website and scroll to the top here, you'd think that this graphic would have the same problem. But if we disable the CSS in this case, we see that that graphic disappears, that, that header graphic, and instead it's replaced with business signs, Landell signs, which is the name of the company. And so in this scenario, the, that header graphic is being replaced with, when Google looks at it, it's being replaced with a standard link. Now the good news is solving this problem is not difficult. It's, it, it's actually incredibly simple and there's, there's quite a number of solutions. And so now I'll show you what those solutions are. So the first solution that I like to use is simply CSS substitution. In fact, this is the way that we do it. If you look at the HTML, we've got the regular code for a link. But what we've done is we've put a class on it of a logo and our link is, is simply there. And our CSS then takes that class and replaces it with the particular image that we're after. And so this is the technique that we use almost exclusively. Our very clever uh, uh, page designers have put in some other methods where you've got um, uh, you know, a, a hybrid CSS method and you can also use JavaScript. So there are a number of ways to solve this problem. The technique that, that we've always employed is simply just a CSS substitution. It's easy to do, the code is here. Um, I'd love you to go and do it. And, uh, and drop your, your, your feedback into the comments. We'd, we'd love, I'd love to hear your, your, uh, your stories about how this has worked for you. Uh, we've certainly seen good results by implementing it, so go and check it out.